Both of these guys, 29, same age, same weight. Everything is pretty much even. The only difference, the experience. The advantage, Vicente. Both fighters are in the ring. We get the official introduction from Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Sun National Bank Center here in Trenton, New Jersey. Premier Boxing Champions now features the main event, live on FS1, 10 rounds in the Super Bantamweight Division. The three judges ringside arm, Lawrence Layton, John McKay, and John Stewart. And the referee in charge, when the bell sounds, Earl Brown. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red with the white trim. His professional record, 27 wins, 19 of those coming by way of knockout against three losses and two draws. Fighting out of Miami, Florida by way of the Dominican Republic. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Yanni Fell, the Lightning Vicente. Across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the brown beige snake skin. As a professional, perfect 19 wins, 13 of those coming by way of KO. Fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, by way of the Dominican Republic. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Juan Baby Tito Dominguez. Yenifel, Juan. Yenifel, Juan, you receive your instructions in the dressing room. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. Touch him up. Well, Juan Dominguez says tonight is his coming out party. He believes a win tonight puts him and puts the 122 pound division on notice. And he says he wants a world title shot in the new year. The NFL Vicente says a win means a lot to him because he calls this a Dominican turf war tonight, this main event. He says, listen, Dominguez has never been in the ring with a fighter with my kind of chin. Here we go, round one. It's our main event. Vicente has got the red trunks, the white trim, and Dominguez the brown trunks. Been exchanging hooks here early on. Big hooks here by Vicente. He's coming right after Dominguez. Uppercuts. Another big left uppercut. A big left uppercut that rocks Dominguez. There's another left hook. Earl Brown gives the warning. Oh, Dominguez to get him another right hook by Vicente. Listen, Vicente said he wanted to apply pressure, constant pressure, and he's doing that. This is going to be an electrifying fight for as long as it lasts. I'm impressed with Dominguez able to take those bombs he did early on and still standing. Not only is he standing, he's fighting back. Right hand by Vicente, left hook. Oh, another oh. right hand. And Dominguez is still right there. Big looping left hook by Vicente. We are under a minute. Huge round for Vicente thus far. Barry, do you think the excitement and the hype of T Baby Tito, do you think that it could, could damage his, uh, you know, just, just his output or damage his outlook on this fight? Yes, I definitely think that he needs to gain control of his mind and, and, and stay mentally sound in this fight because in this first round, these guys are trading and they're throwing big, big shots. Here's a right hand by 
Dominguez. Vicente comes right back. Another big right hook by Vicente. Dominguez can't let his heart get in the way. What a first round wow. between these 122 pounders. As you take a look there at Juan Dominguez. Barry, give me the one thing that Dominguez needs to do tonight if he wants to be successful. If you hear his corner, his corner telling him to relax. I think the one thing that he needs to do more than anything is stay fundamentally sound, get his mind under control, don't let it get out of hand with getting hit with that one big shot, and next thing you know, everything he throws is a bomb trying to get that one punch back. Keep in mind, national television debut for Juan Dominguez. This is the first time that his people are watching him in the Dominican. All right, then. Steve, give me the one thing that Vicente needs to do tonight. Vicente needs to apply constant pressure. We all know pressure burst pipes. This kid is new to this level. He may break under this pressure. We saw that pressure so far in that first round by Vicente. Those were some vicious hooks. But Dominguez is still here. Dominguez is undefeated. He called tonight his coming out party. There's a left hook. That one rocks Vicente. Rocks him back. Dominguez kept it real simple and, and elementary right there. Two jabs put his, put his opponent back into a stumble. For Dominguez, again, they nicknamed Baby Tito. They say his fighting style similar to Tito Trinidad, especially with the left hook. He said, keep an eye on my left hook and the uppercut tonight. In fact, one of his trainers, Andre Rogers, said, watch the trace controls. Three hooks, he said, they've been working on in camp. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting to see that like a feature movie right here. Yeah, I said, watch it. They'll do a series of three left hooks. Trace control. You have to be careful. Keep in mind, Steve, Vicente has fought for a world title before. So it's different. There's levels to this thing, Barry. There's levels to this thing. Absolutely. Oh, that one was low. Earl Brown is going to send Dominguez to the corner. One thing I've noticed out of Dominguez, he came out in this round, he's a little more calm. He can, you know, it was like more of a game plan fight instead of just rumbling, you know? By Rova, Sinte's got five minutes. He said he didn't need it. Keep in mind, we're under the unified rules here in Jersey. No standing eight count. No three knockdown rule. Only the ref can stop the fight. Barry, listen, if you were Dem if you were Dominguez's trainer, what would you tell him when he came back to the corner after this round? I would definitely tell him, instead of loading up on the hook, you can tell he's a hooker, you can tell he's used to throwing the hook and that's his money punch. Again, the jab is key to this fight. The jab was set up and camouflaged that which he really wants to do, and that's bring that heat with that hook. Earl Brown's gonna take away a point. He's gonna take away a point. Oh, baby Tito said he has that left hook like Tito, but instead of to the head, he throws it to the body. He's loading up a little bit too big. This could be crucial considering, depending on how the judges scored that first round. And then you get one taken away here in the second round. And Dominguez is now left hook happy. After getting that point taken away. Come on, keep him up. Don't push his head down. Don't push his head down. Don't push his head down. These are bombs that Dominguez is throwing. Well, it's a sense of urgency all of a sudden now. He knows, okay, I've had the point taken away. 
Vicente was very active in that first round. Listen, we've seen the highlights of where Dominguez came from. Living under a bridge. He doesn't want to go back to that. He wants to elevate himself. These bombs have purpose on them. Great, great. Don't punch, don't punch. Let's go. Let's go. Fight. Final seconds of round two. Oh, boy, what a fight here. Welcome back. Coming up on round three here of our main event. Steve, let's take a look at some of the action from the last round. In this round, we had Dominguez loading up on that hook. That one could be a purposeful low blow, but we don't know that. Right. This one pulled down by the head. It always happens sometimes, and you get a low blow out of it. Let's have a fair fight, fellas. Keep it clean. <laughs> Scheduled for 10. Crucial fight for both of these guys here. Oh! Right uppercut by Vicente. Oh! This fight, and you see where Vicente was constantly throwing it, constantly throwing it in the early rounds, and it, and it found a home in between the shot of Dominguez and so bizarre. Yeah. Doctors in the ring. They brought in the stretcher for Dominguez. guys know this it's not the punch you see it's the punch you don't see that is always the most devastating and that's what we saw here tonight in Trenton wow that was a titanic shot let's take one look at this knockout by Vicente Big overhand right, right on the button to Dominguez. Let's take a break. Thank you very much, guys. Yes, this knockout happened here in the third round, just 20 seconds into the third round. Yenefel Vicente connected with a, a right hand. Now, just moments ago, they took Juan Dominguez out of the ring. You see him there on a stretcher. You see the neck brace. And he was just taken out of the ring. Unfortunately, he was knocked out cold by that right hand by NFL Vicente. Just 20 seconds here in round three. Let's get the official time of this stoppage. Here's Ray Flores. Here's Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, the end of that 20 seconds of the third round for your winner by way of knockout, Yanni Fell, the Lightning Vicente. So.